Okay, something I was reading today really just really hit my heart. And I thought I would make a video about it because it's pretty awesome. Um, I've been on vacation this week. And so for the first time this year, feels like I've finally given myself permission to step away, really intentionally rest, unplug, um, not be worried about answering messages and not be necessarily limiting my reading material to product information and network marketing books. Um, most of most anyone who knows me on Facebook knows I've been setting really big goals for my Plexus business this last year and that I've been working really hard. And so um, just to get away this week has been awesome. And I've picked up this book, Bread and Wine by Shauna Nyquist, Nyquist. And um, this chapter called Run just really spoke to me and I've kind of been laughing and crying my way through this entire book. It's really been tugging at my heartstrings. But this part in particular um, really resonated with me because of how I remember feeling before I decided to try this plexus thing. I remember watching other people have the success and really free their family from a lot of the burdens of debt and um, allow themselves to dream and to um, think about doing things like traveling with their family or you know even quitting quitting a full-time job to stay home with kids um, uh, so many things that wow if people could really allow themselves to dream and really um, say yes that could be me then it would be so amazing but I remember being in that position watching those people doing that and going I am not that kind of person um, the idea of calling someone on the phone horrified me the idea of somebody telling me that they have a health struggle and me sharing a product with them that I believe could help them horrified me um, never mind whether I was very genuinely believing it would help I felt like oh it will feel like I'm trying to be a salesperson and I don't want to be a salesperson I'm not a salesperson I remember feeling that way and I feel like there are probably so many people out there among my friends who have seen people doing well with Plexus and who maybe have health issues that the products really could help but they're just so um, feeling like I was feeling and then this chapter just really stuck with me so I really wanted to make a video and just read part of it so Shauna Nyquist starts off saying I have long considered that there are two kinds of people in the world people who can run marathons and people who can't and I have long considered myself to be a permanent member of the latter category I've always had the sense that something fundamental between my body and my soul was disconnected like a very important wire got cut at some point like my body is off on its own doing its own thing lazy and undependable but I've also long held the belief that one's tears are a guide that when something makes you cry, it means something. If we pay attention to our tears, they'll show us something about ourselves. Against my preferences, watching people cross marathon finish lines makes me cry. Crazy, deep, ugly cry. Specifically, watching average-looking people cross marathon finish lines makes me cry. Professionals who finish in two hours are amazing, but it doesn't move me the same way. And not all physical feats move me like marathons do. I don't cry when I watch the Olympics or the Super Bowl. There's a thing I have with marathons. Several friends and my brother ran the Chicago Marathon a few years ago, and finally I said out loud, something in my sometime in my life I'm going to do that. Really. Me. I decided that in two years, I'd be ready. I'd be 35, we'd celebrate our 10th wedding anniversary, Henry would be five, and it would be the perfect time to work off that baby weight after giving birth to the baby I was sure I was about to conceive. She goes on a little bit to talk about how that plan did not go as planned, um, that she ended up finding out she was pregnant with twins and then miscarrying, and the whole following year was a blur of pain, of um, you know barely getting by and at the end of that year she says um, I got an email from my friend Nate registration for the upcoming year's Chicago Marathon was open he said was I still up for it I immediately wrote a reply no not this year next year and as soon as I wrote it I knew it would always be my answer next year next year next year I deleted those words and began again yes I replied before I could change my mind yes I'm signing up. 
and I did. And then I dug out my running shoes, shoes that had been to the coffee shop and the farmer's market but had never been running. I put on those shoes and I shuffled around our neighborhood. Okay, so then she goes on for a few pages and talks about the grueling, um, but, you know, character building training period and all those long runs and all the um, things that she was surprised to find herself doing. She makes a funny comment about, really all you need to know is that I willingly wore a fanny pack and willingly referred to it as my fuel belt. So, um, but it's a year, you know, a year of transforming process where she, this person who has believed I could never do that, becomes a runner. And then I just really was like moved by this last um, page of this paragraph where she talks about running the marathon, talks to getting to the end. Um, so sweet. She says, um, let's see. When I hit mile 24, I realized we're doing this. We are really going to do this. I made the turn onto the bridge at Roosevelt and I could hear the announcer saying, you're a part of Chicago Marathon history. You're not just a runner, you're a finisher. You're a marathoner. People were screaming and Lake Michigan was so impossibly blue and Kirsten and I both burst into tears and ran the last straightaway as fast as our busted up legs could manage. I tend to believe the worst about myself. I could never do this. I'm not that kind of person. I'll always be like this, or I'll never be able to get over that. But then I think about that day, and more than that, that season. I think about the miles on the green trail early in the morning and the taste of red Gatorade and the way my legs felt after those long runs. I think about the hushed, tense city, uh, city the morning of the race as I walked over in near darkness. All the runners wound up and silent, kicking out their legs over and over and pinning on their bibs. I think about the day after the race when Kirsten and I hobbled around our neighborhood sore and tired and proud of ourselves. And then I remember that people can change, that I can change that the same old refrains can get rewritten and that all it takes is sometimes paying attention to your tears and ignoring that voice that tries to hypnotize us with next year, next year, next year. And of course that just like blew me away because it's, it is exactly how I felt. I could never do that. I am not that kind of person. I'll never be that kind of person. I'll never be comfortable telling somebody about a product I believe in. I'll never be comfortable handing out a business card to a stranger, whatever, what, what have you. Um, but how empowering to know people can change. Those old refrains can be rewritten. And what kind of freedom awaits and what kind of possibility awaits. So I thought, wow, that was really worth sharing. And I, I hope that if there's, you know, I know there are, I know there are people out there who are feeling like I'm feeling going, I cannot possibly join that bandwagon. I can't be one of those people. And I would just encourage you by telling you that those people look very different depending on who they are. You know, when I jumped into this business, I said, I'm going to do this my way. I'm going to do this as Carissa. And I may not look like Jessica Heffley, or I may not look like um, Tamara Holloway, but I'm going to do it. I can do it. So, I don't know. This just really stuck out to me, and I just wanted to put it out there for anybody else who is stuck, stuck in that spot saying, nope, not for me, not for me, um, and think about if it could be for you. So, I hope that encourages you today. I am really enjoying my vacation and I'm enjoying this book. So bread and wine, it's a winner.